Hey guys, it's Flores Pigeon Gaming. Can I want your PS4 firmware update 2.5's full list of features since yes, they are confirmed from the beta testers who got a snippet of what we get. But without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the features and what they include since they do sound pretty cool. Now, it has been hinted at for a couple of weeks, but yes, as I said, they have been confirmed and they've hit the headlines and the news, everything online in a couple of hours. So here we go. First of all, you get a suspend slash resume button or, you know, feature, which apparently a lot of people have been asking for. Also, you get a new accessibility setting, which will allow you to sort of reconfigure the buttons on your DualShock 4 controller. So say, if you want to start shooting a gun with your circle button or shooting a gun with your left trigger button, I don't know why you would want to do that, but you know, if you wanted to, you can. So you could do that straight from the system itself. Uh, other enhancements include numerous improvements to the trophy system, allowing you to sort, delete, and even capture the exact, exact screenshot from that moment you gained it. So maybe if you've got your PlayStation Eye camera on, you know what part of the game you're in, when it was, it will capture that, and I'm sure you can share that to Facebook. To be honest, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it myself. I wouldn't share a picture of myself probably like screaming because I've got an achievement or a trophy is taking so long to get. But you can do it, it is a very cool thing. Uh, also, share play will now support 60 frames per second, while Facebook friends will be handily displayed in the players you know area, so that if your friend Bill has got a PlayStation, he will come up with his ugly face and you can add him if you like, although, you know, you, you want to make sure that you know him, because I have a lot of friends on Facebook that I barely speak to and even know, they're very distant friends, so be careful there. Uh, also, there will be a shadow effect now available for fonts which has helped with some of the system's slightly more garish themes, which I do believe with, you know, some of the, the fonts are just a bit, eh, not really, uh, they're just a bit plain. So now you can have that shadow effect, which is, a, it's not overhauled, no, but it is a little cool feature I think will be noticeable, maybe forgotten after a while, but very cool all the less. While there will be more space for you to introduce yourself on your profile, so you'll get a better, more introduction, I believe it's now 120 words for the introduction, uh, the about me, basically everything there is going to get extended, so that's going to be cool as well. Now, if you're watching this, you might have a PlayStation 4 for a while, or you might, you know, maybe thinking about getting one and you want to know about this update, so now, if you are new, you'll be getting a new discovery section, which will sort of acclimatise new newcomers to all the features of the PlayStation 4. So sort of like hints and tips like the you know, like the little dog that used to come up on the PC or the little android, you know. He comes up and he helps you out. So, you know, if you're all new to it, you can just get on everyone's level. And then no one can moan at you, no one can say you're a noob. Because we're all PlayStation 4 players, so why don't we just get along? Uh, but that, I think that's it basically. That's all there is for the firmware update. There is a lot more actually. There's a lot more, you know, specific details. You know, there's... Um, you can test the host connection speed during share play. Uh, you're not allowed to use all the versions of share play as well. Uh, it's, it's a lot of you know distinct features that I could go through, but it would just take absolutely forever. So I've said the main ones that people I believe are going to be interested in. But if you want to do that, I will leave a link down below if you want to look at those features in particular. But that is the biggest features they are coming out with. And if you're lucky enough to be a beta tester, then you'll already know what this is like, you'll already know if it's working, so if you are then you know, please comment down below, but if you're not, comment down below you know, what you think of this, do you think it's going to be helpful, do you think 60 frames per second on share play is going to be useful, do you think reconfiguring your buttons is going to be any good, I mean it's cool but I'm not going to reconfigure my buttons really. So when all is said I do think this update is going to be very cool and I will be using many of the features. But before I go, I do want to say something. I am sorry for not uploading yesterday, as I do normally upload every other day. But I ended up going to a pie, which, you know, I'm going to tell you, I think I spent most of the time just walk, talking to people and using my uh, Rick Grimes accent, which, if you don't know who that is, he sort of goes, uh, Coral! Which, as you can imagine, is very embarrassing, and I that made many enemies and many, many more. But uh, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you can leave this video a like if it was any good and subscribe for more content. But I really do have to go because I think. You feel dead. Oh, will you just. Oh, do you know what? Fuck this. Piss off. Piss off. Fucking done.